November the 12th, 2019. I hope all of you guys are bundled up. Uh, it's going to be colder tonight than it was uh, last night here in central Mississippi, and it reflects uh, all across the country. Right now, the temperature outside is 34, but the real field is 28. That's going to drop into the teens tonight for you guys in this area. What you're looking at now is uh, pictures from today of the sun from a satellite that's between the Earth and the sun. It gives us an Earth-facing perspective. It's called the Solar Dynamics Observatory. Coming in in the bottom left, guys, at about 8 o'clock, right in there, we have a new sunspot. Now, it has not been determined if it's a sunspot from the new solar cycle 25 or a remnant from 24. Now, my guess will be from 25, but they're saying tomorrow as it turns more Earth-facing, they will be able to determine the magnetism, and then we will know what sun cycle or solar cycle this is coming from. We're also having a uh, series of coronal openings or coronal holes on the surface of the sun in these dark areas as are openings in the magnetic canopy of the sun, and they allow a solar stream to come directly at us, and we've seen that increase pressure and cause earthquakes. Now, the Earth is represented in this red circle, guys, and what I'm pointing out is in the ecliptic of the inner solar system, the Earth and the Sun do not line up perfectly in that ecliptic. We're slightly uh, south of that line, or in the again the solar hemisphere of the Sun. Now, what's important about that is, is with this sunspot that's coming around, also in the southern hemisphere of the Sun, we have what's called magnetic connectivity points between the Sun and the Earth, and all the planets are. If we didn't, we would spin out into space but again they're called connectivity points and we're going to look at today's chart on that but when you again when you see this and you see these darker holes they're like um, clear skies on the earth and that solar stream heads at us also from yesterday guys mercury and uh, it's crossing in front of the sun this is also the solar dynamics observatory it won't happen for quite a while. We observed the last one on this channel six or seven years ago, but that was kind of a quick repeti uh, repetition of this thing. But again, think about it. Mercury being that close to the sun is the heat involved. That's amazing. Now, it also, if you see the full scan across the entire uh, surface of the sun, which we should get tomorrow, and you can kind of tell it here, this thing's rising as it moves from left to right, and Mercury is rising. Now, this is what I was talking about. Notice at the top left, Magnetic Connectivity Solar Scape Viewer. Here comes the new sunspot. These gray circles represent here the Earth in the... Uh, gray or excuse me brown is mars and the gray is mercury then parker is a satellite and then venus is coming around in the top left edge of the sun guys you can see right there now what this magnetic connectivity means guys is when and i've seen it for years when we get a sunspot moving across the surface of the sun like this when it hits one of these and they're called magnetic portals and they move like a tornado but they're wider than our planet and it's it's like a plasma tube between the sun and the earth a lot of energy transfers between that you got a lot of magnetics going on there too anyway when these sunspots move across the surface of the sun and they cross one of these connection points you usually see a change now especially during grand solar maximum or solar maximum in the top of the uh, cycles. You'll see a solar flare, a coronal mass ejection, or filament release simply because it's recognizing that energy transfer. Guys, and it does it every eight seconds. It's a pulse. It's not a continuous stream. But every eight seconds, I think it is, that uh, pulse goes completely from the sun to our planet and to the other planets and our earth on the average is 93 million miles from the sun what's called one 
AU or one astronomical unit. What they're saying, the new sunspot is emerging over the sun's southeastern limb. It's too soon to say whether it's a member of old solar cycle 24 or the new 25. We will know in the next 24 hours as the sunspot turns towards Earth, revealing the polarity of its magnetic field. And guys, I just wanted to point it out because now we're starting to see some solar activity. And I do think it we may have another year of diving into not grand solar minimum, but just the bottom of solar cycle 24. That will lead us into, according to this activity, solar cycle 25. I see great dangers there because if our shields don't strengthen enough to protect us from the very strong solar flares, coronal mass ejections, and filament releases that we see coming uh, from the sun during a peak in solar cycles, um, it, let me say this. During the, the last solar cycle, I watched the next flare leave the surface of the sun and strike Japan, and it caused the tsunami guys that wiped out the Fukushima nuclear plants that's uh, killing the Pacific Ocean, one-third of the waters of the Earth. And so we we have to pay attention to it. But again, this is what I like to watch, and I like to share it with you. So we'll watch. Tomorrow I'll do an update on this. Again, you guys in the south and wherever you are in this cool weather, Leave your water running, fill up your tub with a little extra water, or just fill it to the max. That way, if you do have a frozen pipe or power out, uh, you do have some water, like, you know, to flush your commodes with or whatever. Like, that's really nice to do that, charge up your cell phones. One thing that we've been lucky with, this morning we did have some ice on the back porch a little bit, but it didn't rain enough to really create enough to... Uh, wait on the power lines or enough freezing rain on the power lines to cause any power outages here. But tonight it's going to be even colder, maybe by 10 degrees with increased winds. And you can have uh, transformers blow, things like that. So just have everything full of water. If you got your water filters, fill them up, guys. Fill up your extra pitchers. Have plenty of that because that will make a big difference. But we're watching it. You watch it, it's a heads up. Be safe.